here in my garage just bought this uh, new video camera here fun to use up here in the Caledon area you know what I like a lot more than telling you about this video camera using it to show you how to kill some giant hogweed on the next Canada's most one As you can see, we've spotted the giant hogweed, or the Heraclium mentagazianum, in its unnatural habitat. <clears throat> You've got to be careful, as its sap is very poisonous. You can tell it's a giant hogweed with this description. It can be three, four, or even five meters tall, and about one meter in width. Now, it has also got a purplish stock and white flowers on top. It resembles the Queen Anne's lace. You may be wondering, how on earth did this get here? It was originally brought here from Asia as an ornamental plant. Another thing to note is it can be found in ditches, on roadsides, and near streams. And also, if you're wondering why it's still here, hogweed is perennial, meaning it will return every spring. If you want to get rid of some giant hogweed, you'll need to do it from late April to early May. This is because they'll be smaller then, and it'll be easier to dig up. You'll also need to take some safety precautions so you don't get any sap on your skin. You'll want to wear safety goggles, waterproof gloves, long shirts, and pants. Once you've got all your gear, you should be ready to go. First, you'll want to take a spade and dig up the hogweed and all of its roots. Once you've got all the roots and the hogweed collected, you put it in black plastic bags. Once in the black plastic bags, leave it in the sun for about a week. Once it's been in the sun for about a week, they should be about all dried out. Once dried out, you can put it in your green bin. You should also note that when you're taking off your protective gear, you don't get any sap on your skin, so you must do it very carefully. In the event of getting sap on your skin, you must wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water and leave the affected area in the sun. Thank you for tuning in for, to this informative episode with the Hogweed Hunter, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>